tell me about this uh, this rivalry with KU. Some people might not think it's that big of a deal, but why is it a big deal to you guys? Um, I think it's it's just the tradition that goes into it, and uh, all of the Kansas players that we have. Um, a lot a lot of us take it personal that we weren't uh, a part of their recruiting. You know, some 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 people grew up KU fans and. And that kind of that, that kind of hits home when your own you know in in state team doesn't doesn't recruit you. So, but I think Kansas State was the best fit for all of us, you know. So I think that's that's the biggest thing. Can you tell me uh, how kind of wacky it is that uh, the secondary has worked out the way it has when a lot of the changes that were made in game two were you know just because guys couldn't go and that uh, yeah. you've turned out with a really good lineup here? Well, I, th I think Coach Klanerman is the, is the, should get the most praise because he's, he puts people in the best position to succeed. He, like, he, he doesn't get the most, you know, the credit that he deserves because he, he's a very smart man and, and, and he just puts guys in a position to succeed. And, you know, playmakers make plays. Who, uh, who other than yourself has impressed you most in the secondary this season? I'm gonna be, to be honest, we have a we're we're really young back there, honestly. And uh, you know, we come to work every day and, and we believe in the process and, and Coach Klanerman gets us uh prepared every week. So honestly, you know, Ross has done a great job. Um TJ Smith has impressed me. Wayne, you know, Wayne, he's played a lot and he's young. Um A B we've got a lot of guys back there that, that can play. And, the, and back in the secondary, at nickel, we have A.J. A.J.'s playing nickel now, and that, that's been a tremendous fit for him. He feels, a, you know, the most comfortable as ever. And it, it's, just been, it's just been really, really smooth sailing. Yeah. Thanks so much, Jerron. Appreciate it. Gotcha. John? Yeah, Jerron, you mentioned guys uh, growing up in Kansas and, and being upset that Kansas didn't recruit them. Is that the case for you? Are you somebody that wasn't recruited by Kansas and hold a bit of a grudge because of that? Uh, I kind of, I think about it a lot now, now, but it, it's over with now. So I'm kind of like, you know, I'm Kansas State all the way. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, it, it's not a grudge, but, you know, you kind of think about it because, you know, I, I live 15 minutes away from Lawrence, you know, and – it, it, it was kind of like they didn't even give me a look. And it's, so it's kind of, you know, it kind of hits home a little bit. Was that game last year extra satisfying for you, especially since you played a pretty big role in that? Oh, very. Yeah. You know, every time every time we play them, we, you know, they're coming to bring their best, but also we're coming to bring our best also. And, you know, we treat it, we treat it just like a normal an, another game. I've been preaching to the guys this week. It's just another game, and we're going to treat it just like it's another game. What stands out to you the most about Kansas's offense, just from what you've been able to see? They have a lot of of great talent individually. They are very talented individually. That's what people don't realize about them. They're they're a very they're a very individually they're they're a great team. You know. Appreciate it, Jerome. Thanks. For sure. Do these last two raise hands, starting with Mitchell. Hey, Jerome. Uh, kind of, how does your game plan? Going into this game, change now, knowing that you're you're not going to have to go against Puka Williams. Uh, we're going to treat it uh, exactly the same. They have great great backs as well. Um, you know, <laughs> they're athletes, and you know they comp they compete very hard every week. You know, we, we have to treat everybody the same. You know, it's a big knock. You know, knowing he's not going to play, but it's 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 the same. And KU's had three different starting quarterbacks through the first uh, few games of the season. What kind of what kind of things are you guys expecting to see out of? Still, we're not sure who the starting quarterback is going to be. It might be the freshman, but what whoever it is that's under center, what kind of expectations are you guys uh, expecting to see? Um, like you said, we have no clue who we're going to see, but you know we're game planning as as if we're seeing all of them. So it's just time to go execute. Do two more starting with Fitz. Hey, John. Um, you're healthy again. You're playing safety. You're hitting people. How satisfying has this season been? Uh, it's been it's been very satisfying. You know, 
um, it's been a long road for me and, and all my hard work is, is really paying off right now. And, and my coaches are putting me in great positions to, to succeed. And I can't thank them enough for that. And uh, my teammates, you know, uh, we're just keep we're just staying together as a, as a whole. And, you know, I just feel like it'll all work out if we stay together and, and uh, believe in the process. And finally, I've asked some other teammates of yours this question, but you're a senior, you're finally kind of seeing regular playing time. You're, the defense is leaning on you. Are, are you considering coming back next year since you get the free season? Um, I, I, have, I have no clue, sir. I, I have no clue. <laughs> Thank you. Last one here, Jackson. Yeah, Jerron, you talked about how satisfying the game last year was for you. Uh, beating KU and you know having grown up so close but you played that game in front of of a packed crowd a sellout in Lawrence Mm -hmm. but this year it's going to be different with limited fans in attendance do you think that that's going to have an impact on the atmosphere at all in all honesty uh I think me and my teammates when we're out there we don't even recognize the crowd to be honest it's it's just blocked out because we're so tuned in on 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 the, the goal at hand, and, and that's to try to win. And then you, you mentioned how close you grew up to Lawrence and how it's not really a grudge, but it is there. Mm-hmm. How much is it going to mean to you if you're able to win this game and you, you drive home and you drive right past Lawrence and you're able to think about mm-hmm. that? How much does, does that mean to you, and, and how much does that motivate you? I mean, of course, it's, it's, um, it, it will mean the, the world to me. But, again, it's, it's just another game. But – yeah, it, it will mean the world to me because, you know, it's right down the street and, you know, I I feel like, you know, I was overlooked by them and all that. But, you know, it, it's okay. Thanks, John. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Sneak this last one in here, Ryan Black. Jerron, hey, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Hey, um, is there any chance if you make a big play on Saturday that you'll do another ball spinning? So oh, ready. no, I, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. I can't afford to get Coach Kleiman. Oh man, he's he'll get on me. I can't do it. I can't do it to my team. Do you have something else cooked up instead that won't be caught, that maybe wouldn't draw a penalty? Or something? I'm just gonna celebrate with my teammates, man. I mean, okay, you might I, see something. You might see something. N- nothing. Nothing that'll cause a penalty though at all. Last question on that because I, I remember when I asked you know, Scotty Hazleton about that last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he said that you you know you can do it in practice all the time, and that's where it oh, stays. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, I've taught I've taught a lot of guys in practice. I was gonna ask, are you the best one on the team, or who else? Oh, easy, easy, easy. With you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Easy. I, I, so there's I, no one else even close. I mean, it, it's a method to it. I mean, my my uncle way back in the day when he was in the NFL, he he had taught me how to spin it, and ever since I've been trying to perfect it. <laughs> Who's the best one on the team other than you, then? Uh, it's a lot of guys getting up there now. I say. AJ's really good. Uh, Wayne's really good. Really, my secondary guys because they're with me all the time. So they're they're starting to they're starting to get up there. <laughs>